Hey guys, this is Lan, and today we'll be talking about motion sickness. Motion sickness is one of those things that every pilot is probably going to have at some point or ex have experienced it at some point. Either a brand new pilot that has never been in this environment before, or even as a CFI that has a brand new student that can get sick in the airplane for the first couple of lessons. So what's going on? Imagine you're a brand new pilot or you, this is your very first flight ever. It's 150 degrees outside in Texas. It's hot. We start the airplane. It's loud. It's noisy. Transmission's coming in and out of your ear. New sensations that you've never experienced before, such as acceleration on takeoff or turbulence, or you, know, you don't know where to look. You know, everything is just so fresh and so new. Now your body's a little confused. It's never had the experience of being in this condition or in this state before, right? This, especially with turbulence in an archer it can be pretty substantial. So you start to feel nauseous, start to feel sweating, and you may end up vomiting. Please vomit into a sick bag, not all over my airplane. So that brings me to my next question. Have y'all ever puked on an airplane? If so, let us know down below in the comments. Oh, and you made your instructor clean it up, didn't you? I do up. So if you do find yourself starting to feel nauseous or uh, dizzy in an airplane, if you've got air conditioning in the airplane, turn that on, put the air vents on you, look outside. A lot of times motion sickness happens because the new pilot is so focused inside the airplane and staring at the screens or looking at the map or looking inside. Once you start feeling nauseous, look outside at something in the distance because now you see there's stability out there. There's no movement that your eyes have to rapidly track. So look outside, open the air vents, have that sick bag ready. And then if it's really severe, end the flight and turn around. In my experience as an instructor, usually it's the first one, two, three flights that this happens. People get motion sick, and then it starts to taper off after that. Like you start to feel better, better, and better. Uh, I remember I had one student that probably took him about five flights to really get comfortable with the airplane especially in the hot weather. Once his body got used to it, it became much better. He was much better faster. He, was, he could learn a lot better. And that, I get that question all the time too. Brand new students here at ZTA, they're like, hey, you know, my first flight, I got sick. Second flight, it was a little better, but, I got, but I'm still getting sick. Third flight, I'm still getting sick. It's like, I don't know if this is for me. I'm looking at him, it's like, why isn't this for you? This is something you want to do. I mean, you stopped your life to do this. Like, you want to be a pilot. I can see it. You're studying hard. Just because you get motion sick at the beginning doesn't mean that that's going to last. You got to give your body time to get used to this brand new environment that you're in. Don't get discouraged if that happens to you because, again, this is a brand new environment. Oh, and by the way, it's going to get cooler soon at some point. Well, not soon, but it's going to get cooler out there, so it's going to be smoother out there too. But by then you already be used to it. So don't give up just because you're getting sick. Just we'll, we'll work things out, we'll figure it out. And then guess what? By their fifth flight, they're not getting sick anymore. So that wraps up our talk on motion sickness. Please like and subscribe below so you can be alerted to any future content.